studying is one of my dreams. I'm paired with Isa. Uh, he's from Congo. He's studying business. Senior Emily Torres is helping first-year student Isa Mtiti Bawa figure out life at an American university. I show them the resources that are available for them. It's a big departure for Isa, who's only been in the United States for a short time. In Africa, we are living in community, so we have to share many things with others. But in America, uh, it's like a private life. Emily is among more than a dozen WKU students who've been trained in the Resilient Refugee Navigator program. We've learned about how um, the refugees come, uh, what all they do to be able to come to the United States. Students listen to other students. Associate Provost John Sunnygard says hosting refugees is nothing new for the city of Bowling Green. It's been doing that for four decades. WKU had already formed a task force to identify barriers refugee students face when seeking higher education. It included deans, it included faculty members, it included financial aid, the registrar's office, people from our office, to identify where we had these big holes and where we had these big barriers. Coincidentally, last year the state legislature approved the $10 million Kentucky Innovative Scholarship Pilot Program that took effect July 1st. It covers everything. It covers accommodation, it covers their tuition, it covers some of their you know, food and living expenses. Allowing 19 refugee students, including Isa, to realize their dream of pursuing their education after circumstances have led them far from home. Emily um, helped me so much. At university, I know restaurants, I know where is the library, I know where is some offices. With this week's View from the Hill, I'm Amy Bingham.